this is part two of the epic adventures going on a Mediterranean cruise on the Norwegian epic. If you haven't seen part one, uh, it is on our channel and hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and give it a thumbs up. The port for Rome is Chavita Vecchia, and the train ride is 45 minutes. We found, from walking from there, we found a really neat little restaurant that uh, had octopus salad, and Howard had a dessert. And it was a couple blocks from the Colosseum. We walked around there for a while, and then we went to the ruins, which are pretty much everywhere. We just enjoyed our walk, and we only had about three and a half hours so it was back to the train station and of course Italy is famous for their trains being late and they were 45 minutes late and Howard was a little pressured to make sure we got back to the ship on time as we took the train to the bus station and the bus station to the cruise port we met up with about 250 other cruisers that were coming in late. Right at the port, they had this very nice shopping center, and I bought a couple dresses and some limoncello and soap. And then we went on the Norwegian tour to Pompeii, took a shuttle bus over. After a long, wonderful day, we went back to the ship and, of course, prepared for dinner. We got a window seat this time, and as we were eating, we saw the, the um, Celebrity Beyond dock right next to us. It was quite interesting watching them move around in a small space.
One of the perks of being a Latitudes member is a night out with a couple free drinks and we got to meet the staff and there was entertainment. I even got up and danced a little. We woke up docked at Mallorca, and of course Howard had to have his coffee and at least six Danish. He loves his chocolate croissants. Palma's marina was just packed with boats. We just took a walk around and found beautiful churches and fort-like entrances, and we found ourselves um, walking around the city center. Of course, we had to try the local food. There were food vendors everywhere. We found another ancient church. We went inside and took a look because it was quite interesting. We found La Ramba and more food. We saw Godi's influence in Palma, and of course, we saw a Mackey Cafe. Back at the ship, we got ready and went to the Manhattan Room, and guess who was playing? Burn the Floor. We saw them in the last, on the last cruise getaway, and they also entertained us with Tropicana and the Manhattan Room. And of course, both ships had them on the main stage as well. We took a walk around Ibiza and we explored on our own and we saw really neat architecture and beautiful flowers and then we spoke to a young gentleman that told us about a wonderful beach that was right across from the cruise port. So we found a restaurant on our way to the beach, right on the beach, and had calamari and Howard had some ravioli with yummy, yummy raisins. We really enjoyed ourselves thoroughly, probably the highlight of our trip.
and of course I had to go in the water and do a little swimming and and I think Howard even got a little wet. It was a wonderful day. We took a stroll back to the ship and got ready for tonight's dinner. Howard had roast beef and fries and broccoli and I had stuffed peppers with spinach. I hope you enjoyed our video on the Norwegian e Epic. If you haven't already seen our part one, it is on our channel as well. This is the map of the entire trip. Hola! We made it to our Hyatt Hotel in Barcelona. We didn't check in until 3, actually 4.46. So uh, we took a walk down to the La Ramba, which was a very long walk. And we are kind of in a downtown type area. And so we just dragged our suitcases up here. We finally made it to La Ramba. The shops, some of the shops were open. The street vendors were there, but um, the market was closed. And today is our last day. So we will be taking a plane in the morning back to Tampa Bay area. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once we get back home, I will go over all our little goodies that we purchased and I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Have a great day. We had a pretty, a pretty darn good trip and here making new memories. So I figured I'd show you the memories that we collected along the way. Of course, Barcelona, Gruel Park, um, Nuka, small little medieval town near Pisa, Cannes, Con, I heard. Of course, Pisa, Florence. I didn't get a postcard in Rome, but we got several in Lucca, which was a real surprise. It was a very sweet little town. Um, we had a lot of culture. There's uh, Naples. And we also went to a couple Spanish islands. Mallorca. Palma is a city we went to in Mallorca. And another Luca, another Barcelona, that's our postcards. And we got some gifts. Beautiful uh, Spanish bowl. And here's another one that didn't make the, the trip. We got all sorts of limoncello. Little drops that you put in the freezer. And little bottles as gifts. And two big bottles for us, a cello. This one we discovered, it's a herb um, uh, aperitif, should I say, that we had at a restaurant. We liked it. This one we thought we'd try. And of course, some olive oil. A few more gifts down here. We had to buy a cup, of course, for our trip. Uh, soaps, lavender, lemon soaps toys for the grandkids and one of my little tiles for my new tile collection. I got a few things. These are chocolates that we picked up in the duty free and a little pendant for Tiana. I believe that's uh, going to also be a Christmas present. That's not it. Um, we also bought two bags. This one I used on the trip quite a bit. This is just a memorabilia bag. Um, two big, huge Turkish blankets for the beach. This one is going to be a, a Christmas present. And I also bought two dresses and a blouse. And Howard bought four or five t-shirts. 
we had a great trip.